Welcome. In this video I will be demonstrating how to attach the photo gallery plugin to a web page. Um, the first step is to get logged into the Mira CMS using the appropriate URL which I've already done here um, and then visit the content section so you're looking at the site structure. Uh, the next step is to navigate in the structure down to where you'd like to add the page uh, or select the page that you'd like to attach the plugin to. Uh, so for this purpose what I'm going to be doing is under event photos I'm going to click on the uh, the menu to add content. I'm going to select a page and this will take me to the page dialog where I can add all that. What I'll be doing uh, for this is I'll call it the 2017 Photos Gallery. Um, you can add any content you'd like here. It will appear uh, either as a summary for the page or content for the page, which will, which will appear above the photos. Um, it's optional. What, layout is the tab we'd like to use to attach the plugin. So I'd select Layout. Um, and then what we're looking at is the available content objects. In this case, it's a plugin. The plugin that we'll be using is the Photo and Events plugin. And for our purposes, we want the Galleria multi album, which will allow us to attach multiple galleries to the page. If we wanted to do just a single album, of course, we could do that as well. But uh, multi album is the tested path we've been working with. Um, we don't use the three column layout on the template we're currently in, so I'll just be adding that to the main content objects. So I'll select the Galleria multi album and then the right arrow next to main content objects. This will initially allow me uh, to select which photos appear here from the configured galleries. Um, we can, for example, select to show all or we can pick one particular gallery. Uh, I believe in this case, this is the gallery that we'd like to pick. So I'm going to select that one and hit save. We can always change this down the road as illustrated in another video and I'll highlight quickly at the end of this one as well. So I'll just select the group of photos I'd like to display and click save. Um, and then there's really not much else that you need to modify here. You certainly could uh, if you wanted to add uh, some SEO or something like that, you could do that. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish, which will create the page. And then here we can see our page created. Um, this is just another folder, so I'm going to hit Create It. Um, the next step is to obviously view it from the front end to make sure it's right. Uh, and I'll be doing that. So here I've, uh, I'm going to refresh the page, and now we can see here's our 2017 Photos Gallery. Uh, and here it is. Uh, because I'm not logged in, we don't have the pencil. I'm using, this is another browser tab that's in incognito mode. Uh, to more accurately demonstrate how this will look to admin users, I can just bring up the gallery here. And then now at this point, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm still not logged in. Sorry, let me, let me log in. Okay, I log in there, and now if I go back to the front end, okay, great. Now, yeah, I have the pencil down here. Uh, I can click on the pencil, and then this is where I can manipulate which actual galleries appear here on this page, but I am pretty sure it's this one that we want to have, so I'm not going to worry about any additional selections here. And that's it. Thank you.